Carr is a gifted psychic who lives in southern New England. She connects with the spirit world by channeling energy from the beyond. On this chilly night in East Bridgewater, Massachusetts, a group of 30 eagerly waits to share guidance, insight, and hope with those no longer with us. I think people come because they have hope, they want to see, they want to know that their loved ones are okay after they pass because, I mean, let's face it, if you spend your lifetime with someone and, and they pass away physically, you want to make sure that they're still doing well and that you can still send your love and vice versa. Okay, whew, you guys have a lot of people down here in spirit. Um, has your father passed away? Was he like uh, uh, Patton, with, uh, General Patton, the way he was and just, it's like this and that's the way it's going to be and I don't want to hear any back talk and don't make me stop this car. Okay? <laughs> that's what we always <laughs> said. say that all the time. Okay, that's him. <laughs> we um, that's the, he's been, uh, okay, that, that's him. Um, Are twins in this family as well? Okay. Do you, are the twins fraternal, boy and a girl? I miscarried the first one at three months. I don't know what it was. The second one I delivered at five and a half months, it was a boy. Did he live? No. Oh, okay. Did you also have another miscarriage? Yes. Okay. Girl. That one was a girl. Okay. Did you name that? Did you name her? No. Okay. Cause she comes through. Um, girl. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the boy, was he named after someone? The father or the grandfather? Yes. Okay. Father. He comes through as well. Okay. Um, the son who passed, um, he shows himself as a young man and he, um, Does he have a brother who lived? Okay, he does. He's older. Um, the son who's passed um, is going to be helping the brother um, with his own business or with start. It's, it, I feel like he starts a business and um, it's something that goes down to the generations. Okay, it's something that lasts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so keep this in mind, and if he does, if he if he mentions to you one day or or, or so, says something like, um, you know, I was thinking about you know buying a franchise or starting my own business or something I just like that. Who just bought a franchise? <laughs> you did. Ah, so would it make sense that he would come to work with you in the Chris future? Maybe Chris would come work for me. Yeah. Ah, ah. Because it's the travel business. So okay, it keep it in your head. Okay. Um, the daughter, the miscarriage. Okay, um, she wants you to know that um, you didn't do anything wrong. There's no blame. There's no. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There, you did. There was nothing wrong. There was nothing that you could have done differently. You'll understand more. You know, one day, yeah. one fine day, she says. Mm -hmm. um, so she says it was important for you to hear that. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, Okay. Um, yeah, do you have ask any a question? You can. You may. That's what I was just about to I'd ask. I'd like you. to ask our father if our cousin Johnny is with him. He wasn't killed in an accident, was he? Yes or no? No. It's not suicide, is it? It is no. suicide. Okay. Not too long ago. Okay. Sure. Let's see. Um. Okay. What I get is I get that the air can't go through. He shot himself in the neck. Okay. So he. Okay, because I just feel like all of a sudden it's blocked. There's nothing that can go through. Okay. He talks about apologizing to the father. Okay. Um, he shows that... He shows that... Oh, it's the wife. That's who he wants to apologize to. He wants to... Um, okay. Because it's like, he wants her to know that she's not to blame, that it was his choice, he made the choices, he made the decisions. 
Um, I feel like the guilt trickles down from her down to the generations below that, okay, if that makes sense to you. Um, he just wants them to know that it's they're not to blame, they are not to blame, no one is to blame. He says, I'm the one who did it, no one else is to blame, okay? Okay. Um, did you just have a birthday in August? Mm -hmm. He says happy birthday. <laughs> Johnny or my father? Um, Johnny. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> He's giving you flowers. Happy oh, birthday. Uh, and who's September? Are you September? Uh, See? <laughs> He's giving you flowers too. Uh, <laughs> but he just says, yeah, please, I, I send my love to you. I send my love to everyone. And and he says, let it, it's like he's sprinkling like glitter. He's like, I'm raining love upon you. And I just mm. let it trickle down, let it go on um, and pass it around. He says, mm -hmm. pass it around. There are spirits out there and there are people watching over us. Um, I wish I had the capabilities to do what Don does. <laughs> um, and my babies, my babies are up there and they're safe and happy. Yeah.